What was that? Uh, Jasmine, get it together! What was the reaction trailer to Zombieland 2? It has been, no, 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 mm -mm. cut that intro, cut that intro. Well, hello again, and welcome back to a new video. It has been a hot minute since I've sat down and filmed a video for you guys. Yeah, it has been one hot minute. Caliente. Momento. Yeah. Yeah, because my last upload was three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Yeah, because the last video that I uploaded was the reaction trailer to Zombieland 2. Yeah, that was my last upload. Well, well. But today's video, as you can see from the title, is a little different. Um, it's something that I haven't done in a really, really, really long time, and that is a makeup tutorial. That's right, a makeup tutorial. Um, now before I explain why I'm doing the tutorial, I am at a standstill with the gaming videos, which is why I haven't uploaded a gaming video. It's, it's a long story, and... I just don't want to get into it right now because it's a really long story. But just know I am at a standstill with the gaming. So I don't know when they will be back, but they will be back. Don't worry, I'm not giving up gaming. It's just they're at a standstill for now. Which is why we're doing a makeup tutorial. Because the ladies have been asking for it on Twitter. Yeah. Every time I post a pic, you guys are always asking. Like hey, Jasmine. We need to see how you do your makeup. We need this look now. In a tutorial, I'm like, okay, okay, you guys. I thought I'd show you guys today my go-to glam look. This is the look that I have been going, that I have been doing for about a little over two months. Um, It's really, really easy, really, really simple to do. Well, at least for me it is. But yeah, this is a look that I go to when I'm going out to dinner with the family, when I'm going to the movies, when I'm going to... That's pretty much it. Because my ass don't do anything. Don't go anywhere. But it's not that I don't want to. It's just I'd rather stay home. Curl it up on the bed. Watch movies. Netflix. But when I am going out, this is the look that I usually go for. So this intro has been really long. That's what she said. <laughs> so enough talking. I mean, we're pretty sure I'm going to be doing a lot of talking in the video. Because I'm going to be showing you step by step. So without further ado, grab your snacks, grab your beverages, grab something. Jasmine, stop. Stop. Too much office. Too much office. Michael Scott. I'm becoming Michael Scott. Stop. Okay. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. Alrighty then. Now that you officially look like pebbles. Well, I do. At least. Don't mind the hair. It's a mess right now. And I just didn't feel like fixing it. Nice. But we will fix it by the end of the video. So don't you worry. Alright. So... During the intro, I already had my moisturizer on, so I was letting it sink in to the skin. But now I'm going to go in with primer, and the primer that I'm going to be using is the Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer. Um, I like to use this one because it minimizes the appearance of pores, and it also smooths out your pores, so which is good. Now, if you are new to makeup and you're like, Jasmine, what the heck is eye primer? Now, a primer is like a good base for your makeup because, I mean, you can, you don't have to apply, apply, apply a primer if you don't want to, but if you want your foundation to last quite a while and go on flawless and seamless, then I will go in with a primer. 
Um, they are a bunch of different types of primers. There's a hydrating primer, a smoothing primer, a uh, pore defense primer. There's a correction primer. There are so many different um, primers out there. So go with one that is good for you, that works for you. But I like this one because it smooths out your pores and it minimizes the appearance of your pores. Why does it look like I got attacked by a moth? It's just the way the shirt is, you guys. Slay. When in doubt, slay. Slay. <laughs> if you guys hear any noises in the background, um, I have fans going because it is freaking hot here in Cali. It's 103. I am living in the devil's asshole at this point. It is so, so, so hot. Even with the AC on, it's freaking hot. I am sweating just sitting here. Next step is foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline uh, which one is this one? Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I am in the shade, I believe, what shade is this? Light Tan. I know it looks like really, really light, but I promise you, it just looks light on camera. But it, it, ma it matches. It matches me, you guys. Trust me. Trust me. But yeah, I'm going in with a full coverage foundation because it's a full coverage glam look. And in case you guys didn't know, I'm a full coverage queen. So, yeah. But go with any foundation that you guys have, any that's your favorite. You don't have to go for this one just because I'm using it. Just go with whatever works for you. Yeah, so I'm just going to go. Boom. I'm trying not to put too much because since this is a full coverage foundation, a little goes a long way. So I'm going to take it on a damp beauty blender. You can use a bru a brush. I am grouped. You can use a brush if you want to, but I prefer to use a damp beauty blender just because it'll soak up any extra foundation. Like say I apply too much foundation, um, the soap I'm mean, the soap. The sponge will soak up some of it, so not to worry. And because it makes the foundation go on so flawless and so seamless. And sometimes when I use a brush, like you can see like the the strokes in the brush on the foundation and I don't really want that, so and the sponge is quicker. So yeah, I'm just gonna pounce this in using light pressure because you don't want to beat the hell out of your face so yeah okay I know you're probably like whoa Jasmine did you skip a step or something I did my brows off camera because those things they take a long time it takes me like 10 20 minutes yeah it takes me a long time and I'm still not done with them I just filled them in I still got a shape them and do all sorts of things to them but yeah but now we're gonna move on to the eyes now with the eyes you can use a eye primer so basically what an eye primer is gonna do is help the shadows stay on longer look more vibrant look more pigmented um, I really don't use an eye primer you can if you want to but I just use concealer so just dab a little and then I just blend it out with my finger. Then um, you can set the eye primer if you want or you don't have to. It's all about what you like to do, and, but I like to set it. But, so I'm just going to take my face powder from, this one's from NYX. And this one is in the shade Buff. Oh, beige. Beige. But I'm just going to set that concealer. Just so when we apply our eyeshadows, like nothing goes all over the place and slips around. Everything's applied nicely. Alrighty then. Um, I'm going to be using the Greek Goddess palette from Lunar Beauty. Because why not? Alright, so... The first shade we're going to go into is a transition shade. Um, it's a shade that's closest to your skin tone, something like that. So what I like to go into is this shade right 
here. And again, if you're new to makeup and you're like, where do I apply this transition shade? Okay, so where you're going to apply it is basically right in here. Hold on. Is right in here. Not the crease, but like slightly above it, like between your brow bone and the crease. So this little area right here is where you're going to place the transition shade. Now we apply this shade first, well at least I do. Um, there are other ways to do like to do your makeup, but this is the way I do it. So I like to apply a transition shade first. That way when we go in with all the other shades, they have something nice to blend into. So that's how I like to do it. So I like to take this shade right here. I think it's called Cleo. This one right here. And I'm taking it on just a fluffy brush. Any fluffy brush that you have. All the brushes that I am using today are from Morphe. Just in case if you guys are wondering. This is how I apply my transition and show you. So. Right in here. So in this area is where you apply your transition shade. See? Just above your brow bone and the crease. And I'm just using light pressure and I'm using windshield wiper motions and circular motions. Just so it blends out nicely. I'm taking it all the way in because this look is about to be smoky and dramatic. Well, not too dramatic. It's not like over the top. Well, at least for me. See? Just like that. Simple shade. See how it matches like my skin tone a little bit? That's what you want. Alrighty, mate. Now, the <laughs> y'all know it ain't a video unless I do my accents. Okay, so now I'm t switching over to a fluffy brush like this. It's slightly... Um, more slimmer and denser. So this one we are going to use to go into the crease. <coughs> Next shade I like to use is this one right here. It is Prosephone. And it's just like a light, yeah, like a light sandy brown. And I'm just going to tap off the excess. And this one is going to go directly into the crease. So, again, I like to tilt my head. And then right here is where I'm going to apply it. And I'm going to be applying it mostly on this outer corner right here. Because I want to focus it, like, the most darkness on the outer corner. So that way it gives us, like, that, you know, cat eye effect. And then when there's hardly anything left on my brush... I'll sweep it into the inner corner. So first I'm going to start off in this corner right here and apply the most shade. And then when there's hardly anything left on the brush, I'll sweep it into the inner corner. And again, I'm using windshield wiper motions and circular motions. So just work whatever, just do whatever works for you. I like to do both, like switch like from windshield wiper motions to circular motions just because I find it um, so much easier to blend the shadow. Now I'm just going to take that, that same fluffy brush that we used for the transition shade and I'm just going to go over that crease shade that we placed down and just blend it a little bit. So again, I'm using windshield wiper motions and circular motions. Alrighty. Now, to make it a little bit even more darker uh, I'm gonna go in with let's see I usually mix this one uh oh why is it getting dark why is it getting dark I usually mix this one and this one together but I think I'm just gonna use this one for today so it's like a not like a yeah kind of like a dark brick color like a reddish brick color so I'm just taking it on a more rounder brush and this shade is only going to go in our outer corner. So I'll show you right now. Hold on. Take off the excess. So this, I'm only going to apply it right here in our outer V. 
right here. I'm going to take it into the crease a little bit, but it's mostly going to just stay right here. And I'm only going to apply a little bit at a time because I'm going to apply some, blend it a little bit, and then uh, sometimes blending can take the shadow away. So that's when you go over it again and you just keep um, applying the shade until it's like the desired like darkness how you want it. So I'm going to apply it right there. Take that same fluffy brush that we use and blend it. And then if I want to go in with another layer, then I'll just go in with another layer and then blend it. And then if I need another layer, then I'll just go in with another layer. So it's all about like how pigmented and dark that you want that shade. But I think I'm only going to apply, I only applied like two layers. So. Okay, so I'm just going to make it just a little bit more darker. Um, when I don't want it to be like too, 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 too too dramatic when I have a little bit more time on my hands and I want to make the look a little bit more dramatic then I'll go in with not this one um, Aphrodite so it's like this plum shade right here and I'm just taking it on a flat brush and I'm only gonna apply a little bit because I don't want it to be too 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 dark so again it's only gonna be on this outer corner right here so And I think I'm just going to go in with one layer because I don't want it too, too dark. So see, oh, I'm sorry. There we go. So just right there. And that's it. And then again, taking that same fluffy brush and blending it out. Just gives the look a little something, something, you know. You're probably like, Jasmine, this is supposed to be easy. It is, you guys. It is. See? See how it looks a little bit more darker than this side? That's what I want. That's what I want. It's what I like. It's what I like. Lucky for you, it's what I like. It's what I like. Mm. Righty now. Now we are going to do the lid shade. I don't know why, but the lid shade is always my favorite part. So, um, I put two different types of eyeshadows on my lid. Um, but I'll go step by step. The first one that we are going to put on is this one right here. It's called Iris. And it's like a rose, rose gold in a way. It's really, really pretty. So I'm taking another flat brush. And there are two ways you can apply the shadow. You can go in and you could apply the shadow dry. Or if you want it like more, um, pigmented um, then you can spray it with some setting spray but first I'm gonna show you guys what the difference between applying it dry and applying it wet so this shade is only gonna go in on the middle half of my eyelid so just like that I'm not gonna take it all the way in I'm going to leave this corner right here for another shade. Okay, see? This is how it looks dry. Now, if you want it to pop even more, um, just take some setting spray. Spray your brush really quick. Let it dry a little bit. And then go in with the shade again. And then apply it. see how it just gives it a little bit more pigment like a little more pop if you guys can see the difference hopefully you can but. okay now for this inner corner right here I'm gonna take the shade Athena oh my gosh hold on you guys I'm working with natural lighting okay so don't judge me but I'm taking Athena right here and it's like this light pinkish like champagne color it's really really pretty so this is going to go into that inner corner and you could do the same thing with this one you can apply it dry or you can apply it with some setting spray but i just like to apply it dry see 
just like that. See how it fits in there nice and tight? That's what she said. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm going to stop right now for the eye look. This is pretty much it. Well, besides doing the bottom lash line. But now I'm just going to move on to the rest of the face. So next step is concealer. Well, I am using the L'Oreal Inflammable Full Wear Concealer. And I'm in the shade Pecan. And this helps cover up your dark circles. And to brighten like the under eye concealer is basically like extra coverage can cover up your redness can cover up your blemishes but it also brightens up the face as well so I'm just gonna play this where I want it cover up some dark spots nose and I'm not I'm trying not to apply too 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 much because this concealer is full coverage as well. And I'm just gonna go in with a brush this time. You can use the beauty blender if you want as well. But I like to go in with a brush first and then I'll go over it again with the beauty blender. Okay, now to set that concealer, I'm going to be taking some translucent powder. This one is from Airspun, and it's just our loose trans translucent powder. And what this is going to do is just... Oh, shit. Hold on. What this is going to do is just um, lock in that concealer so it doesn't crease and it doesn't go anywhere. Just make sure... It's just going to make sure that it stays in place. So I like to go over my concealer again really quick just to get away any creases that I had. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and just tap it in and then go in. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but don't worry. Just like that. So I'm just going to apply this everywhere I put the concealer. My nose, I'm gonna apply quite a bit on my nose because that's where it tends to fade off quicker and then I'm also gonna apply the most on my smile line so that way you won't get any creasing. And my lips. Clean it up, Cocoa. Alrighty, so now to bring some life back into our face because basically your face is like looking like all one color and yeah, we want to bring some life back into it and look nice and bronzed and sun-kissed. So for bronzer, I'm going to use this bronzer right here and it's from the Illuminate palette by Ashley Tisdale. Well, I just applied my bronzer and I forgot to hit record. So basically, you guys, I'm such a stoop. I'm such a stoop. I thought I was recording this whole time. I was all talking to you guys, getting all in depth. Didn't even press record. Why? Go over and tell you guys what I did. So I applied the bronzer on my cheekbones. So that's basically where you want to apply it. It's just feel for where your cheekbones are, but don't bring in the bronzer too, too, too much. Just leave it like right here halfway. And then I also applied some to my forehead. And my temples, I got my fat double chin, I got the jawline, and then of course to match everything, I got my neck. So, yeah. And then, like say you go in too heavy handed with your bronzer, just take the same damp beauty blender sponge. Make sure it's damp, not full on wet, but just like damp a little bit. And then if you apply too much bronzer, just go over it with the beauty sponge and it'll take away some of the pigment. Okay, now it's my favorite part, the blush, the blush, and I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. It's like this peachy, corally shade. It's really, really pretty. 
So with my blush, I like to go in heavy-handed because blush is always like the first thing to fade away throughout the day. And because I love blushed. So I'm going to smile. You guys are going to see my dimples. Smile and then just hit the cheeks. It's like a natural, a natural blush shade. It's really, really pretty. And I like to hit my nose too and my forehead. Just so we look like. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for the highlight. So I am taking uh, the Greek Goddess palette from Lunar Beauty, the highlighting palette. And I'm going to use the shade Muse. It's like a champagne gold color. And where you want to apply highlight is basically the, the the parts of your face that hit the sunlight. So like, you're going to hit the cheekbones, you're going to hit the temples of your forehead, your nose, the cupid's bow, you can hit your chin. Basically where you want like, basically like where the sun hits your face is where it's going to give you that glow from within, you know. Mm. Mm. I love highlight. Mm. Don't worry, if you go in heavy handed again, we are just gonna like blend it out with the beauty blender. My little nose not little nose, but I have a big effing nose, man. Thanks a lot, daddy. Okay. And I'm gonna hit my cupid's bow. I'm just gonna hit the top of it. That way it makes your lips look a little bit fuller. I forgot to hit record again. This is what I get. This is what I get for not filming so long. I keep. But anyways, I went in with my setting spray. Again, the setting spray is to lock in your makeup so it lasts for the day. So it's not going anywhere. It's not sliding off your face. So, I use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I love this one. It keeps my makeup looking fresh. Um, you can use a setting spray throughout the day. You don't just got to use it just to set your makeup once. Uh, like, if I start to see that my makeup is looking, like, powdery or cakey a little bit, just take this, put this in your bag, spray it, mm, refreshes your makeup, and you're good to go again. So, yeah, that's what I did. Okay, we are almost done, you guys. Almost done. Okay, now we just got to do the lower lash line and here's my palette. And this is going to be really, really just simple and quick and easy. So, basically, how we did the top, the top um, part of our lid is going to be the same on the lower lash line. But a little bit quicker. So, I'm going to go in with this shade right here and it's just going to be on a flat brush and just apply this to the lower lash line so basically what I layered in the crease I'm just going to layer on the lower lash line and next I'm going to go in with that brick shade right here and just apply that over it. Oh shit. Okay. So just apply it over that brown. So we're just layering them. And then for the dark shade, this one right here, taking that plum one. And this one, I'm only going to apply to the outer part of the lower lash line. So like right here. And it's going to be applied closest to the lash line. And then connect it to the top. Oh, well, the only thing we have left for the eyeshadows is just the brow bone highlight. And I just like to take this shade right here. It's just a light sandy shade. It's not a sh it's a matte shade. It's not a shimmer shade. And just use it to highlight the brow bone. Just like that. Now 
Okay, guys, we are done with the eyes. You're probably like, Jasmine, I thought you said that was easy or quick. To me, it is. I don't know. But now, next is um mascara. Now, sometimes I apply false lashes, and sometimes I don't. It all depends. I mean, you could put false lashes. You can. You don't really have to. It all depends on what. Well, it all depends on what you want. But um, probably gonna apply false lashes. So I'm gonna go in with some mascara. This one is the one from Maybelline, and it's the last sensational mascara. So I'm just gonna apply some mascara really quick. Apply some false lashes, and then I'll be right back all right guys now i just added lashes i put on a little bit of brown eyeliner and that's it um i don't even know what lashes they were i just picked them out um now all that's left to do is the lips so for lipstick i'm gonna be using the lunar beauty the lunar beauty liquid lipstick in the shade zaya it's a really really pretty shade then we'll be done Alright you guys, this is the finished look. This is my go-to glam makeup look. Hopefully you guys liked it. I did have some problems in the middle of the video when I kept pressing record and I'll have to go back and explain some things, but that's okay. That's okay. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry that I just haven't been pushing out videos the way I want to but I am gonna get myself back on track so as of right now the gaming videos are on standby so leave me some video ideas in the comments down below whether it's a challenge whether it's another makeup tutorial another reaction video leave me any of those suggestions in the comments down below I'll really really appreciate it because sometimes I run about it run out of ideas on what to film and I'm like oh, I don't know what to film I don't know what to film so leave me some ideas in the comments down below and I'll be sure to check them out I always read the comments I always heart you guys so I really really love to hear what you guys suggest so that's gonna do it for today you guys if you enjoyed this makeup look then make sure you give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to comment and share this video with a friend and if you are new to the channel and like hanging out with us and my weirdness and yeah, just being goofy, then go ahead and click that subscribe button down below to be part of the fam. Also, make sure you have post notifications on so you never miss when I drop the next video. And until the next one, I will see you guys later. Bye, you guys. Bye.